Are you trying to visit your site and seeing a notice like this or this or this or is your website being redirected to this URL? Feels scary, right? The notice is deliberately vague and does not explain what has happened or how to fix it. Why? Because your web host has suspended your account and is displaying the same warning to everyone who visits it. You also won't be able to log into your site because it's effectively offline. Even worse, it could be in imminent danger of being deleted. Bluehost, for example, is very trigger happy on this front. If you find yourself in this situation, it's normal to panic. This situation is fixable, but we need to act fast. Don't worry, I've got your back. If you're new here, my name is Julian and I work at Blogwad, which helps over a million sites with flawless backups. In this video, I'll show you how to fix a suspended site, conduct damage control, and prevent it from happening again. I've added chapters below so you can quickly navigate this video. All right, let's begin. How to fix web host account suspension. Basically, to get your web host to unsuspend your account, you have to address the issue that caused the suspension. Then you email them with a request to review the suspension reasons. Now, your website is offline and you may or may not have access to your WP admin to fix the issue. And the only channel available to you is your web host support. If you haven't already done so, email the web host support to find out why they have suspended your account. There can be three main reasons for this, which we will cover below in detail. Reason number one, how to deal with a hacked site causing site suspension. Out of all the reasons that the web host can suspend your account, malware is the most tricky to solve. There are a few ways to clean malware from your website, depending on whether or not you can regain access to it. Here's a list according to cost effectiveness. Number one, use a security plugin to clean your website. Number two, hire expert cleaning services. Number three, manually clean your website yourself. Option number one, clean your website with a security plugin. First of all, there are only two security plugins whose cleanups we have found to be reliable and effective. These are WordFence and Malcare. The challenge with WordFence is that it's quite expensive and takes hours. We recommend Malcare because it is cost effective and takes only a few minutes. In addition, there are three other reasons why we prefer it. It surgically removes only malware from your website, leaving your data and website completely intact and pristine. It flags underlying vulnerabilities and backdoors so that the reasons your website got hacked in the first place is also addressed, thus preventing the infection. It has an integrated firewall which repels bad IPs before they even hit your website as well as bad bots from scraping or attacking your website. Now, the trouble with a suspended site is that you cannot access your dashboard to install a security plugin. So here are the steps you need to follow to use Malcare. Number one, contact Malcare customer support for a list of IPs to whitelist for cleaning. Number two, email your web host to whitelist your IPs and the Malcare IPs. Number three, install the plugin and make sure the site syncs from the dashboard. Number four, the plugin will scan your website and find all the malware. Number five, click auto clean to remove the malware. Number six, request your web host to rerun their scan and share the results. In most cases, this should work. There are two rare cases that I'll address below. Case number one, if the web host does not restore your site, then you'll have to use FTP to clean up your site, which can be quite a tedious process. I'll add an article below in the description, which will take you through a step-by-step -step process for doing so. Case number two, if the web host still finds malware on your website, share the results with the Malcare team and they'll take care of it for you. With each Malcare cleanup subscription, you get unlimited cleanups and 24 seven access to Malcare's security engineers. Option number two, hire a WordPress security expert to clean your website. If you were not able to get your web host to whitelist IP addresses for cleaning, then this is your next best option. Use expert services like these to clean up your site. An expert cleaning service will use FTP to access your website files and clean the malware manually. This is a time consuming, tedious process because FTP can work very slowly and manually checking each file and database table is a thankless task. For these reasons, this is an expensive proposition and I would recommend using a security plugin instead. Option number three, manually clean your website. You might be wondering why manually cleaning your website falls at the bottom of this list considering we ordered it according to cost effectiveness. The fact is, we have seen far too many botched attempts at cleaning. In 99% cases, you'll be at your wit's end because of the complexities of manual malware removal, reinfection and broken websites. By that point, not only will the malware have gotten worse, but the site will also be in shambles. In the end, it will end up costing you more than it would have if you had gone with an expert cleaning service instead, which is pricey in its own right. If you're adamant on the manual cleanup, check the link in description. I'll add a detailed article to walk you through it step by step. Step number two, damage control. Okay, the malware is gone, but there is still the issue of how your website got hacked in the first place. This is usually because of vulnerabilities, backdoors, or compromised user passwords. These steps will help you close out the cleaning process by plugging the gaps. Comment below if you need help with any of these. I'll try my best to help you out. Step
Step number three: How to prevent malware from infecting your website again? Now that your website is live again, there are a few things you can do to keep your website safe. WordPress security is an ongoing process rather than a one-time activity. A good strategy is to have a plan in place to review things like users, activity logs, passwords on a regular basis. Case two: How to deal with a website overusing server resources? Your website likely exists on your web host server with hundreds, if not thousands, of other websites. Resources like processing power, memory, and storage are shared by all the websites that exist on that server. To make sure that all the websites hosted on a shared hosting plan get a fair amount of server resources, web hosts set a cap on these resources for each account. Usually, a web host will alert you if you are reaching or exceeding the resource limit before suspending your account. So, if you have received emails about reaching the resource limits, it is a good time to start analyzing your hosting usage. Here are some common reasons and their fixes. Number one, clean bad bots and malware. If the increase is sudden, then you may be experiencing bot traffic. We recommend getting a reliable security plugin like Malcare, which can protect you from these bots. Number two, debug site structure issues. There is most likely an errant plugin or theme which is using excessive resources. A quick fix: if you have any backups, migrate to another hosting provider with better resource plans. This will get your website up and running quickly, and you can then debug at your leisure. Number three, set up a cache to reduce number of requests. Caching is actually a way to speed up website load times and to better user experience, but it can reduce the number of server requests considerably as well. Number four, consider upgrades carefully. Often there is an underlying problem, and moving to a higher plan will not fix these issues. To prevent bot traffic, you need to have a firewall for your website. Scenario three, how to deal with payment issues and policy violations. In my humble opinion, these issues are easily dealt with, so I've clubbed them together. The resolution is mainly to contact the web host and work with them till your website is up and running again. Payment issues. This is the most common reason web hosts suspend your website and show you the account suspended message. Web hosts have your credit card information on file and will charge it automatically at the time of renewal. These transactions can fail for multiple reasons like insufficient funds, expired cards, or fraud prevention. The fix is simple enough. Just make your payment and the site will be up and running in no time. We also recommend switching to an annual subscription so that you can avoid suspension hassles and missing notifications. Other policy violations. All right, we can all acknowledge we rarely read the fine print. We assume what we want to do is probably permitted under the policies, but that is not always the case. Having said that, most of the policy violations we have seen stem from the content on your website. The suspension is caused under circumstances such as copyright violations, spam generation, unsolicited emails, unauthorized admin use, and storing illegal material on the server. Conclusion: We have outlined the most common reasons why web hosts suspend sites, with exact steps you need to take to solve each of them. Here's a quick overview of the important steps. Suspend it due to malware infection. Clean up site. Use a security plugin for cleanup. Hire expert cleaning services. Manually clean the website yourself. Damage control. Clear all caches, WordPress and browser. Change passwords of everything. Update everything. Remove null software. Remove any extra or unused plugins. Future prevention. Install security plugin. Review user accounts and passwords frequently. Keep updating everything. Invest in good backups. Harden WordPress. Suspended due to overusing server resources. Clean bad bots and malware. Debug site structure issues. Set up a cache to reduce the number of requests. Consider upgrades carefully. Suspended due to payment issues, policy violations. Update payment info and make payments. Examine and remove site content for copyright violations, spam generation, unsolicited emails, unauthorized admin use, storing illegal material on server, political content, sale of dubious products. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you liked it, please do hit that subscribe button because that really motivates us and it's free. I'll see you again next week. Take care. Have a great day. Ahead.